All right, we are in the uh, California Ultimate Tournament. We are in the opening round in the rookie division. We're on the back nine. I did not pick up everything I wanted to on the front. There's two par fives here that I was in the right spot, had everything good, and I did not hit perfect into the into it. So, and one of the par fours I didn't hit perfect, and one of the par fours I put myself in the sand. So I didn't have a spectacular front nine, but I did pick up a couple. Now what we need to do is really pick up on the back just to put ourselves with good tiebreakers so really need to shoot like a minus 16 on the back just to put myself in good tiebreakers which is what I got in the qualifying round and just get back to that point but I'm not going to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to make everything right here I'm going to make it all I'm going to shoot a minus 42 and if you're thinking, how in the hell are you going to do that? I'm I'm thinking, how in the hell am I going to do that? Don't worry, you're not the only one. All right, hole number one. All right, we're doing a max overpower hook shot with a marlin. With a marlin. Boom. And I'm going to, because I don't, because I haven't taken the time to set this shot up with an APOC, I'm going to do an extra mile. And you really only need like five or six top spin. Five will work. You don't really need any more than that. And I have traditionally done 10% on the drive. We will see. <clears throat> we will see. If I can find an opponent. If. If I can find an opponent. One down. The Metal Rockers. Here we go. I liked how hard this whole... Like this shot that we're doing out here was not available before because there was trees. There was a row of trees around here and it was hard to get... On. It was hard. You couldn't set up there because the trees would be blocking your path. It was hard to get into that spot. It did open it up so people can get over there because the max overpower hook shots here and they, the max overpower hook shots been on this hole have been available in this hole forever. It is. This is not a hole. That chip right there is not very far away, but there's so much movement on the green that. The chips from the top can be very difficult. I'm going to go one and three quarter rings. There's five. There's six. Three divided by 2.1. 1.57 1. rings. I'm going to do one and a half. I'd rather under pull it with that wind direction. I'm not sure I got all of that. That's going to put me on a pretty good track to the cup. Whoa down, Cat Daddy. Whoa down. Whoa. Maybe just the five. <laughs> Maybe just the five. And five tops. I better bring a note. Five tops. And yes, I hit the sign and it bounced me a little bit towards the cup, and, but I would pr have preferred that there was no freaking sign there and it let me roll out to wherever I was going to roll out. Nice. That works. That works, my friend. In the hole. Do, do, do. Man, it is... It's super hard to not put on any side spin once you touch the top spin. Getting it perfect. 
in the hole right where I was aiming. I was aiming to the right hand side of the cup so if I hit a one ring grate to the left it might have gone in. I was trying to hedge my bet. Anything great to the right would have not gone in. In the hole. All right, we got that one out of the way. We survived hole number one. Hole number two. This par three. Is this the par three? I, 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 I'm still working on this one. What I need to do is actually move my shot and set it up. I, I've been doing the no move And another thing I noticed with this new ball where we adjust the ball is before there was five ticks of side spin and if you wanted two side spin you moved it over two ticks and you had a def but now they only have five ticks of side spin and we have ten side spin so that means you got to split it in half if you want to do one. And way back in the day we used to have a bar that had ten. So I know that it's possible, and our top spin has 10, so why can't our side spin have 10? Just asking. Just asking. <laughs> At least give us something to measure it by. All right. I'm, I've been taking this as a no move, just doing the thing, but I'm gonna move it around this time and see like what the deal is on it. What, 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 what is the deal? And I'm gonna hit it straight up. Wherever I'm at my club, I'm just going to hit it so I can try and set this shot up because I've been dicking around with that uh, no move. And I'm almost positive that, we're doing, that we do an adjustment here. And I'm going to take, I'm going to take a, I think I can just do this with a Marlin. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. You can just do a Marlin two holes in a row and a sniper. There we go. Play. See if we can get her done. Okay, first of all, where am I? No, I'm in a grizzly. There's Max. There's Min. So I'm at mid grizzly. White ring off. Is that one and a half, almost two backspin? Three nine. I'm at mid club. I'm just going to do three nine. And I'm going to hit it great, just for good measure, just so that we have every single thing on this could go wrong. Did I hit that great to the left and it ended up on the left? I sh this is why it's so important that you record your own video because you can take a shot and you're like, what the hell? Oh, jeez, I can't remember. You can go back and watch your replay, but it's not nearly as much fun as being able to go back and pause it right there so you can calculate what you did or what went wrong. Or I really like going just straight at it and not using the hill here and just trying to go straight at the cup. And I might go back to that. I had a dead set shot on this hole and then they changed it and then everybody was playing at that time I came up with another dead set shot and I made it a bunch of times and then they changed the hole and then I had it and then I worked out a shot and just here in the last couple changes on this hole I've given up and then of course they haven't changed it in a while <laughs> all right I will get that one worked out I'll start carrying at some point. Maybe I should go out and practice. That would, that would be a, it might be worth doing because that is a, we do have a good opportunity for 
for a hole in one here. I just have no, I'm I'm not a huge fan of using these hillsides to go down to the cup because there's so many variables, extra variables that can get in on it. Secondary wind effect on your bounces, you know, just moving off just a little. There's just so much shit that can go wrong as opposed to going straight at the hole and not expecting the terrain to roll you down into it. But to do that, you need to be more up into this pocket right here, which puts the sand into play so that you can have your ball guide going off more in this direction and then you use side spin to bring it back around to the cup. Which is what I might do next time we play it. I might. You gotta have fun on some hole, come on. All right. All right, I did not hit perfect on the front. Let's see if we can hit perfect. Which way is the wind blowing? We got wind again. Now we've had good wind on this hole both times. So I'm expecting in the weekend round we're gonna have crappy wind. We'll have to bring out something uh, bigger than a Kingmaker. And I've been doing 10% on the drive and 10% to the cup. Times the wind divided by 1.2. And I'm using my blue ring off on the left hand side. So the transitional surface on the left at Max Club is where I want to set it up. Blue ring off. The wind is 2.4, 2.2 rings. Blue ring off at the red line. Let's get blue ring off at the red line. Max everything. 2.2 rings. Do do do. Max curl. Perfect. See how much distance we can get. I should put me probably mid mid thorn. I'm doing 10% on this shot as well, so I'm gonna do a 10% variable. 1.1 times the wind divided by wherever I'm at in my club, which I'm thinking is gonna be mid, so 2.3. see where my opponent set their shot up so I have no idea same deal very similar circumstances there's max there's men there's mid I'm at mid club Two point seven divided by two point three. One point two nine. I'm gonna do one three. There's one three. Oh damn it! I did the same thing I did on the front. I hit it great to the left. Arr! Perfect is in the hole. Damn it. That's okay. I had to leave something for the weekend around. Otherwise, you pick up all the shit and then you're, you're, then you don't have anything left to pick up. Dag nabbit. Now, a claw is a great club. And you do not have to play it like a freak. I just do not understand people why I understand and now that's not that won't go in but I, I do not understand why dude it's a great club why didn't you just run it up there and, and and go right at the cup it's the same thing people get with the thorn they were probably going hey dude you can run the backspin on that yeah and it also has four four ball guide you can run you can just run up to the cup you don't always have to do the backspin Maybe there's some rule and I didn't know.
I've played with several short irons over the years and I really like my level 8 Hornet. Super, I mean, you hit that sucker perfect and it was in. Same thing with the, king, the Kingfisher. I played with the Kingfisher for a long time. Hit a Kingfisher perfect and you got a serious opportunity for it to go in the hole. But there are times when there are those backspin shots that you need a club that's got backspin and instead of switching it out, you can... It, it fills all the needs. It's got ball guide and backspin and all that stuff. And it's got good topspin, which is amazing. Hole number 13. Hole number 13. I know it says Sniper Marlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the my least favorite of the par threes in this course. Which way's the wind blowing? And I didn't hit it perfect on the front. Sniper Marlin. If you've got any low wind balls, might be good. One point one five times whatever the wind is divided by I am in minimum club, I believe. Which is one point two per ring. Alright, here we go. Here we go. It was all of the side spin, and I think it was three and a half. It was three and a half backspin and one left hand side spin. But the backspin might change. Doc Holiday, I'll be your Huckleberry. He ain't no Daisy. My opponent goes first. What do they got? What do they got? A power 10 ball. Oh my gosh. Come on. Really? Really? I'll let you take my shot so you have two shots at getting in there. Uh, really? Dude, you could have missed the hole with a freaking quasar, a marlin, a white ball. And you could have did just as good. And you brought out a power five ball for that? I mean, come on. Come on, man. Four point six. 4.4 rings. There's four. Four. Hitting it perfect. And I still need to pull it more. Still need to pull it more. What hole was that? What hole was that? All right. Not enough. And that was definitely going at the hole. It was definitely going at the hole when I set it up. So something, something, something pushed it off. I can't believe that they used the power five on. This is an example of they just, they probably didn't notice. I mean, I've done that. We've all done that, where you've been out there on the course and you, you had a ball and you forgot to change it up, and then you were like, oh, shit, why did I use a berserker on this? I didn't need to use a berserker. Or they're one of those people that it doesn't matter whether that ball is the right ball for the hole or not. They just bring it on every hole because I bought 250 of them or I bought a $100 pack and a $50 pack, and I've got a lot of them. I'm going to use it on every hole because that ball is going to help me win. They're your balls. You can do whatever you want with them. <laughs> All right. I was in the perfect spot right here. I had opened up. I had. I was over here so that I had opened up the shot to the cup so that I could start off a little bit to the left and then bring it back around and I could try and give myself some separation from the sand trap. 
I see most people out here are hitting it on this side of the line so when you're hitting it there it's a little bit you, the sand traps a little bit more into play I haven't picked up the slide yet this week where it slides all the way across to the other side but uh, I think with the big topper I'm probably not going to hit that slide maybe I'm gonna use that same bag again a kingmaker I'm doing plus 20 on the drive and I'm gonna give myself two rings of separation no overpower times the wind divided by and it's 1.8 per ring here we go and what am I doing to the cup I'm doing plus 15 to the cup and I didn't hit it perfect on this hole on the front either the first par five, man, all you got to do is hit it perfect on that. And you are in the hole. That ah, was two. If I remember correctly. It might be one. Which is two. Three point five. Two point three three rings. Two and a third. One ring great to the right. And I am on the right hand side of that line that I was talking about. I'm right, I'm probably right on the line. If I was a little bit to the left of where I'm at, you can see if you go straight forward, I'm just I, I have the window I'm looking for where I can keep the sand trap in that rough area to the right hand side of my shot alright I'm going to do 15% to the cup 1.15 times the wind I tried 10 and it wasn't enough and I didn't hit it perfect on the front so I don't know perfect and I think I'm in mid club which is one per ring. Ooh, that, that is bad. Uh, they might be able to make it. No, they got, mm, I don't know. There's Max, there's Min, there's Mid. There's Mid Club. Mid, Mid, Mid I tell ya. Three point nine, four point four eight rings. I'm gonna do four point five rings. There's four five. Hitting it perfect. Let's see if the fifteen percent is better than the ten was. Which the wind blowing? I still didn't pull it quite enough. Not quite enough. If I'd have did a 17 and a half, let's see what that'd have been. That'd have been 4.6. That'd have just been plus 0.1. Mmm, I'm not sure if that would have been enough. And two would have been. That was four four. That was four five. And if I did a twenty percent, that'd have been four seven. I think I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna add on plus point two. We'll see. I'm gonna do fifteen plus point two. Busta. All right, in the hole. Now, we haven't had any tailwinds or headwinds. If I was play Demic, you can bet your sweet ass that on the weekend round, every single hole, because their holes are obviously in a straight line, like every golf course out there, not.
I really should take the time one time to, to go through and lay out all the pictures with the way the wind's going and then take a, you know, like see like how the course is laid out because you go to a lot of courses and here's the clubhouse and you hit down hole number one and then you pick up hole number two and then hole number three runs this way and then hole number four runs this way and hole number five is a short one and then you've got a long hole number six and then you work your way back to the clubhouse and then the the back nine's on the other side and so they have you know because they only have this piece of property that they had to put the course on but playdemic i have no clue because they're it it's it's not it would just be fun if they did it that way you could really kind of sit down and go hey on these holes right here we're going to have headwinds and really try and make the game where you know the players have to get a little bit more involved and have it laid out and they tell us at the beginning of the week the weather report the wind's going to be blowing from this direction and on sunday they're expecting storms and the storms coming in from the north and so the wind might be blowing this way so you can look at the course and go wow you know we got a bunch of holes we're going to be able to kick ass on on these days but in the weekend around we're going to run into some trouble on these holes so it would make the players be a little more involved in the deal now not every player would get involved like that but a lot of the top players they would definitely get involved like that but the way they have it right here they can they can jerk us around and and they like to do that obviously because of one-on-one -on -one, i was playing a tour 10 the other was it yesterday yesterday and we had a 12 mile an hour tailwind and then the very next shot five minutes later we had a 12 mile an hour headwind i mean come on that's just you guys jerking our chains because I, mean, I mean come on come on all right, I tried to get super greedy on the front, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna use my big topper again, and what I'm what I'm looking for here, I'm gonna try that one more time. 1.1 times the wind divided by 1.8. Okay, let, let me let me demo this. This this freaking tree right here. And I'm, I'm not encouraging you guys to go look in the trunk of my car where I've got the clippers and come out here in the middle of the night and trim the lower branches off of this tree. I'm not encouraging you to do it. I'm just telling you that the back of my car is unlocked and there's some trimmers in there, clippers, and you should feel more than welcome to borrow them if you wanted to come out here and clip the, the lower hanging branches off this. We have this narrow little window through here, but there's a couple branches that are hanging down low. And with my APOC, how far you can get up here with your red line, I'm just thinking that maybe with my big topper further back that I might get into a lower bounce and be able to get, I'm going to, I'm going to try it. I just want to see what it looks like. We'll see what it looks like. If I don't like it, I'll just hit it with my APOC. I can do that. I can. We'll try it out. We're going to practice during the round because there's no better time to practice. Hello. If I can find an opponent. Thanks, Dave. Wopen. Texas Wopen. All right. I'm not saying Texas sucks, but did I say that out loud? Three six, two point two rings. There's the point two. And there's the two. And I can't lean very much because that second bounce is really close. But I am going to have to rub the. I am going to lean a little to the right. And man, I just barely missed. Barely barely missed that <laughs> thread that needle I did a plus 10 on that drive and where it bounced through right here it's hard to tell because I had curl on it 
but that second bounce was and this is what I'm talking about these little branches right here it doesn't like your ball guides going through and it doesn't look like but if it, everything looks good and that one little leaf the wind blows and the one little leaf comes down and smacks your ball right in the face Right, here we go. Here we go. Where am I at? There's Max. There's Mid. And I'm eking. And deep in it. I'm going to just hit it straight at it with that wind. Gotta hit that perfect. Jeez, how hard is it to hit perfect? Wow, I can't believe that went in. Woo! We'll take it. Can't be good, be lucky. Jeez. The wind didn't look like it was going to be that big of a factor, and I did set it up on the right-hand side of the flagpole so that I could try and allow for the wind but if the wind wasn't a factor then a great to the left would have gone in which is kind of what it did so the wind wasn't that big of a factor that should have missed from that distance into hole nice nice into hole Man, we are flying through these holes. Hole number 16. Oh. Okay, this is the last of the par threes, and I am. Ooh. Dang. I know Tommy's got minus 10 on here, but I have no idea where he's getting that. Because I did a plus 10 on the front, and I under pulled it. I'm at max sniper. If you had a slider, I'm probably at about 80%, 80, 90, 90%, 90, 85, somewhere in that neighborhood. Sniper, 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 marlin, marlin. Anybody looking for a marlin? There's a marlin. Let me think here. Let me think. 1.1 times. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the 10% one more time. I didn't have enough distance last time. I put on two topspin and I was a little bit too. It was too much. It went right over the hole. And last time I put on like one and a half and it wasn't uh, it wasn't quite enough. It it drifted off right at the very end because it didn't have quite enough speed. We will see. The rug doctor. I go first. Four. There's Max. So that's Max. Max! Okay, one and not quite two. And that looks like at the very end it's trying to break off to the to the left. Four four. There's four. Four. Exactly. Isn't it perfect? Didn't pull it enough. That's so, that's so funny because in the 
qualifying round, I did the same exact deal with 10% and had too much topspin on and hit it. Hit was right over the cup. And on the front and here, I didn't pull it enough with the 10. This is why I'm saying that Tommy's got that minus 10 on there. And when he did when he did that, it was it might have been right. And maybe maybe it is right. That spot that's down there. Let me think about how that works. That spot that's down there is one of those ones where you pull it one direction and it makes your tail waggle the opposite direction. So maybe I am over pulling it. So I'm going to take it straight up next time. We'll take it straight up. Plus zero. And we'll try plus zero and see if that works. And we'll work our way down. I think that might be the, that might be the minus 10 might be right. It might be. It might be. It's one of those things where you're pulling it, you're, it makes it look like right there you need to pull it more, but the more you pull it, the more it goes to that side. So if you do a bigger pull, it'll go on that side even more because it makes your tail waggle. I really want to get this all worked out. Buster. I might shoot a practice round where I got tomorrow I'll get I'll make sure I have some practice tokens and there's a couple of these holes these par threes that uh, the first one and this one to really try and get them worked out because these are definitely great holes I've made a lot of hole in ones on this hole I like this hole a lot and I think I'm going the wrong direction so maybe maybe the minus 10 is right or at least zero might be better it might be. Hole number 17. APOC. Kingmaker. Plus 10. That's what my notes say. Alright. 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 This is... Uh, which way is the wind blowing? We got positive wind. Kingmaker. 1.1 times the wind divided by 2 point... Or excuse me. 1.2. Here we go. And I hit it great to the left and the front, and I, I had more room. There's always a little bit more room on the left. There always is. Three point seven. 3.4 rings. Let's hit it perfect. Hitting it perfect. Dead center perfect. That's not one of those left or right hand perfects. That was dead center perfect. I would have rather that got up on the fringe, but I will take the putt. Take the putt. Low hanging fruit. Hole number one in this hole right here. Man, we really have to get those or our round is in big, big trouble. I mean, this fruit's like laying, this fruit has its own servant and the servant's standing there holding it. And all you gotta do is walk by and it'll put it in your basket. Now the wind should push it forward about two rings. Two and a little. And that's eking close. That might be. We'll see if the 10%. Oh, do not add any overpower on that. We're going to see if the 10% is right because that's going to be seriously close on the second bounce of being right too far. Yep. So even the 10% right there would have been, that was 3.9. What would that be? 3.9 times 1.1 would have been 
one. 4.3 rings just a little teeny bit like maybe a what would 15 be 4.48 a 15 percent might actually be a little bit better 12 and a half if you use a calculator close close all right we're having fun on the hole number nine I'm using the wrong ball. I've got a. I've been using a berserker, but what I need is a ball that's got. I. Let's see which way the wind's blowing. That wind's not helping us out nearly as much as the other ones. But what I need, what I need, you see, is a ball that's got more than. Let's go power, and let's do side spin. That's a 5.5 five with no wind. How many of those we got? We got four of those in stock. I'm just trying to work this shot out, so I'm going to take that. Because I think that might be the one. And I've been doing a 10% on the drive on this one as well, times the wind divided by 1.2. Let's get everything set up. I'm going to take that ball just so that I can check it out. I, do I really want to do that? Just a little more side spin might be better. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring one of these and just get I'll pull it out of my inventory. But I really hate using those zero wind balls because there's a couple holes in the game that when you get when we get those holes in tournaments, you really want a power five zero wind ball. A top spin boost ball helps, but a power five zero wind is the replacement for it. That's three side spin. Mm -hmm. And I got a few of those. Let me try a one more side spin ball and see if that helps. All right, all right. Buster, bro, play it. We'll play it up. I don't think that's, I still don't think that's going to be enough side spin. What I could do is help myself out by not putting on all the top spin. I could put on like 60, 60 top spin instead of the full 85 and that might help me on the other side as well. Because I've been tailing off down in the sand so my trajectory is bringing me here and I'm trying to come to the left a little bit more because I've ended up like in this area trying to get your trajectory but if I wowed it up a little bit so that I didn't get that far you know maybe trying to stop myself right here I definitely increase my odds of uh, of getting over there now nah, I'm gonna go for it. I want to see I want to see if I can get the trajectory right first and then I can lower her down I can take off some of the top spin I have no idea where my opponent's going seemed to me that that wasn't enough curl if they wanted to go way far yeah yeah it's not nearly enough curl what were you thinking okay 5.1 okay I set up I'm gonna set it all up we're gonna put it all okay that's where I was and then I'm gonna move over two ranks it's right there I'm going to move over just a little bit more. Four, six, seven. Four, seven. I'm going to put the forward moving wind back on, which isn't a lot, which it was very little. <laughs> ah, and then I hit it great to the left. Or excuse me, great to the right. Like 700 rings great to the right. I could woe it up just a little. And put a little less topspin on it. I think next time I'm going to write on here max 
max minus two topspin and see if it'll help me turn the corner a little bit more. I'm gonna use my calculator this time and last time I needed to add on just a little. Buster? Four point eight divided by where am I at? There's max. There's mid. I'm in the eight per ring range. Eight point nine of a ring. <laughs> Point nine of a ring. I'm going to pull it a ring right to the edge. Isn't it perfect? <laughs> And I over pulled at that time. Arrgh. Arrgh. Dag now when I over and I did over pull at that time, I pulled at two rings instead of the point nine. Dang it. And I did. Oh, well, no wonder. No wonder. Yeah, that was that was a big overpull. I meant to put in my calculator 1.15. I was going to do a 15%, and I accidentally forgot to put in the one, so I did a 50% adjustment instead of a 15. So it should have been 0.7, and I did one. <laughs> so I think maybe the 15 was right. in the hole all right there we have it that was not hey that's not going to be what it's going to take to win but it'll have to be it's i i just don't see any way around like you're going to have to shoot a minus 32 plus like if you shoot the minus 32 when you walk off the course they will interview you your name will be in the paper but if you shoot a minus 32 plus, now they're going to want to talk to you. But I really think in the weekend round that there's just no way we're going to get away with, I mean, you're going to have to shoot a 17 per side. And there's definitely opportunities out there to pick that up. I mean, I know you look at the 29 and you're like, hey man, that's 29 versus 34. Shit, you ain't never going to get there. There is a ton of stuff. All of the, the first two par fives, I didn't hit perfect either time going into the cup and especially the first par five, you hit perfect going in on that shot, you are going to go in the hole. That hole is money. If I bring out any special balls on the weekend round, you can bet hole number three is going to be one of the ones that I'm going to bring out a precision ball on because you really, really want to hit that perfect. Really, really. And I didn't hit a perfect. I didn't hit this shot perfect either time. And the other par five... Was it hole number five? I didn't hit that one perfect either time, too. And I'm in a great spot right there to get in. No, I think I did hit it perfect on the back, and I didn't. Uh, it didn't have it. I'll have to go back and watch the video on it and see what happened. We got great opportunities out there to make a shot. Great opportunities. Hole number six, that par four. We definitely have good opportunities on that hole as well. If we can get through the trees in the right spot, we have a great opportunity. But threading that needle is uh, definitely want to hit perfect. Definitely, definitely, definitely. All right, there you have it. That is the, uh, see the 33s at the top? I really think if you shoot a 32, you'll, you know, you're going to be in the top 10 in the weekend round. I mean, think about how the brackets work. Okay, first of all, there's 400 players. This is why if you win, even coming in first or second or third, I mean, there's 400 players, and out of that 400, you're trying to get into the top 10. So that's in the top 2.5% of the bracket. Is that right? 
10% would be 40, 1% would be 4, I'm trying to be in the top 2.5%. So it's a big deal. Like anybody you see get a, has banners, it's a big deal getting banners because you started off with 400 players, and if, especially if you get a win, you got 400 players and you're the number one player out of 400. That's pretty impressive. But we had 400 and we went to 200. Now we're in the opening round. Now it's tightened up. The people that shot the better scores are in the top 200 in the opening round. Then we get into the top 100. So if it was all even, and let's say this bracket was over, that means in the weekend round we should be looking at four people with 33, two people with 32, two people with 31, and what one two three four eight people with 30 so we have a bunch of players up at the top that have already shot the round that they're looking for now i will say that it's sometimes hard to replicate yourself you know you shoot a 35 i shot a 35 in an opening round and then i backed it up with a 33 and i felt like i escaped with the 33 and still got the win because the round was it was in the most up and down up and down round i've ever played just trying to get back to where I was in the opening round. So a lot of these players that shoot these monster scores in the opening round aren't going to replicate it. But then you're going to have a lot of players like where I'm at, where I'm not really too concerned about what my score is in the opening round. I'm trying to get my shit together so that in the weekend round, I can be the 33-34. And so there's a bunch of people down here that are in the same boat as me, where they're just like one, one or two holes off, and they get those holes figured out, and then all of a sudden, you know... They're up there. Didn't shoot perfect this round. It's going to be a tight, crazy ass weekend round. That's all I got to say. That's it. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe, hit the like button, ring the bell, leave a comment, do all that good stuff, and I will see you on the next one. Stay safe, my friends, and have fun.